Hey guys, this is Shauna with Thimble Threads, and I am going to show you how to apply our Glow in the Dark Magic Band skins. So, a few tips that you need to remember initially is that um, we have different skin and decal types, and so I've tried to get an application video for each one. I believe I still need to load the Super Sparkle application video. But like the glow bands, the rhinestone, the foil, the printed, they all apply just a smidge differently. And so it's best to follow your included instruction card, go to our YouTube channel and find your skin type. I also have an extra video about tips and tricks for application, how to know if you're doing it right or wrong. As always, please contact us if you need to. Uh, we are super happy to help work through any kind of struggle. Okay, so what you're gonna need to start is your, your magic band. Everything that's included in your package, your, your Skinner decal, your alcohol prep pad, and your instructions. Also, it's very important, watch the video first. It is the most helpful way for me to convey to you the proper application. So these magic bands have all been prepped. These are all glow for our upcoming trip. Um, let's start with this band has the gray outer portion removed. So adult size, child size. All skins are made to fit within the colored area to be one size fits all, just like the magic bands. So since this band is for my toddler, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out and show you how. Right at the end of the arm, right here, push on the colored end, grab the, the gray outer part and push it through. Peel it off. Two pieces, that simple. So let's start with her band application first. I'm gonna use our Polynesian Princess on this, and all of these are glow. We have two different kinds of glow. We have a green-based glow, which you can see right here, or a white-based glow. And depending on the print overlay, I decide which one of those is gonna work better. If there's a lot of dark tones, it's better to use the green because it does glow brighter, but it does distort some of your colors just a smidge because it has that day glow color. White is just pure, but it doesn't grow, glow as strongly. This is by far my favorite product to use. It's a little thicker, but it does distort the color. So I really use my best judgment in deciding which one to use. Let's come back over here. I like to start short side with holes up the side. Let's go. As you roll it away, you can take these holes, line it up right there. Start at the end, hold it in place, flip your hands around here and you can position this so that each one of these holes is aligned. Each one, if you round the band so that you can really line up these holes. If you don't round the band, it's not going to be correct. You will have overlap. See, look at how great that lines up right there. Okay, now this puck center, if you apply it flat, it overlaps the middle which is not at all what you wanna do. If you round it, you can, as you're applying, determine where this is gonna hit. And you want it to hit slowly, slowly, right at that center without going over the gray. That's where we want it. Big part of your thumb, out the side, rounding around the puck. This one out the side, rounding around the puck, and you can position it as you are applying it with your thumb. Okay, so now, once you have it down, we need to rub firmly, 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 make sure it stays in the right spot, and then you're gonna hit it with your heat. The heat is the most important part. What you want to do is heat it enough that it becomes, it almost shrink wraps a little bit and it becomes uh, really tacky, the adhesive, and so it helps to seal all of this down. If anything is lifted, you need to push it back down and make sure you've heated it enough so that it does want to stay on the band. But be careful because as you heat it, it's more likely to stretch. Don't stretch it. That's why it's important to get placement before heat. You can hold it until it cools a bit to make sure you've really got it on the band. 
Okay, all sides are down here, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna latch it now so that I can make sure that it stays in place as I work the other side because I can get to this entire arm of the band. Now, again, roll away, pops off. So we are just going to align this little Mickey head. It is designed to fit right around this little Mickey. Give it just a quick tack down thumb. Wait, that got a little crooked. You can lift and redo it. Just be super careful. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go up the band, working, and as I'm doing it, I'm pushing back and forth if I need to to make sure that this stays in the colored area. Just ever so slowly working. Do not rush this. It takes just a little bit of effort to get it right. Oh, there we go. We're going, you can round or unround depending on where you want it to sit. I don't like that. I feel like that's just a little bit too much gap. So I'm pop off the end here. And then I can straighten it just a smidge to go right up to, not over that gray edge. Out one side, out the other side. The two little portions are designed to overlap. These uh, glow bands are hand layered and hand placed with the print and the glow. It, it really does kind of shrink wrap onto there. It gets a really nice fit. Be sure again, all your edges are down. So you can see from the side, we don't have any lifting. It's really pretty. If you're gonna unlatch from over the skin decal part, just be careful when you're lifting it to not rip the skin apart because it does take just a little bit of ginger effort. Uh, once applied, these are good. They're waterproof. They have a laminate, so they do not have any concerns with sunscreen, bug spray, UV, anything like that, they are entirely durable. We run accidentally at least one through the wash and the dryer. So they work really well. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to reach out. This one I chose to do just the little, little inside mouse head here. So you can line that up. Now, if you get the mouse head on very well, you can see the ridges of the Mickey right through that because it is three-dimensional. Shot of heat. There we go. Now this is applied. I'm gonna leave it latched. I'm gonna let it cure for a day because it will really stick on to this band. And this one's going on my toddler, so I know I need it to be very durable. So as you can see, that is it. I'm gonna do a time-lapse montage for the rest of these because I've gotta get them applied anyway. So I will attach that at the end of this video. Um, if you need anything else at all, reach out, contact us, ask questions. We are super happy to help. Be sure that your band is rounded enough that you go up to not over center. Align the head, align all of these holes, and it should give you greater success. The alignment is entirely up to you. The, the bands are all cut um, the same size. All of the skins are cut the same size. And so if you don't align it, if you apply it flat, it will be too long. If you don't align it properly and it goes over this puck center, the alignment is entirely up to the application process, which is entirely up to you. So it's important that you get that right. Uh, one more thing, if these holes aren't popped out, you can either pick them out um, or you can use these prongs here uh, to push them through and it's super easy. Again, thank you so much uh, for watching and I'm gonna attach some more.